go to the book of Mark chapter 5 and we will be reading from verse uh, that 5 up to 40 and then I will make a few explanations we pray we join the rest of the school in other activities of the school we are reading together while Jesus was still speaking some men came from the house of Jairus the synagogue ruler your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? And verse 36, ignoring what they said, Jesus told the synagogue ruler, don't be afraid, just believe. And verse 37, he did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue ruler, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. Verse 39, he went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead, but asleep. Verse 40, but they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child, his father and mother, and the disciples who were with him, and went where the child was. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. A few things that I want to speak to you from this verse. Of course, this verse is explaining about a miracle. I believe in miracles. Strongly that um, you may not change me so easily. I know you are a scientist. My wife is one. I also tried to be, but now, after a long experience of preaching, I've come to an understanding that there is something that is above what we know. There is always something more than what you know, and there's always somebody that knows more than you, and you also know more than somebody, and that's the reality of life. Now. Apart from the miracle that took place in this place, there are a few things I want you to learn. That when Jesus was still speaking, some people came with a message of discouragement. They came and they told him, they told the synagogue ruler, do not bother the master. Your daughter is dead. It's a message of discouragement. But the Bible says in verse 6, Ignoring them, that Jesus ignored them. In this life, you must learn that there are people you must ignore. Because if they are carrying a message of discouragement, ignore them. Deny them your space. They are not positive contributors to your destiny. Because when we talk about destiny and success... It's all about God and the people. God is for all of us. But if you do not choose people wisely, your destiny can easily be interrupted. You must be careful even as you finish. I finished my first degree in 2003. Those are many years. I've been working in this life. I've been involved in a lot of things. But one thing I've come to learn, the network of your friends can usher in quickly your destiny or delay it. People that discourage you, people who know you about, they know you are yesterday, they don't know you are, you are today, they have no idea of what you become tomorrow. You might not be a very good scorer before. But what makes you think that after myself, the all of me coming to this place, that nothing can change? If I came to this place and nothing changes in your life, then I'm a witch. <laughs> I don't qualify to be a pastor. I carry good news. Yes. And the good news is all of you will succeed in Jesus' name. <laughs> I have afforded time because I know there are people whose destiny is at stake. Because of their relationship with God, 
and their relationship with other people. I'm sure of a God I serve. I know him. And the Bible says, Jesus, ignoring what they said, he told the synagogue ruler, don't be afraid, just believe. I know you are listening carefully, but allow me to make you to become a pastor of your neighbor. Please turn to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, don't be afraid. Just believe. Praise God. Can you do it better? Let this worship moment be a serious one. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, don't be afraid. Just believe. Praise God. And do not even listen. You know what is happening here? People came speaking, but Jesus ignored them. You don't have to listen to everyone. You don't have to listen to everyone. I, if I listened to people during my time, I could have never married my wife. And now we have very powerful children. She is preaching with me. We are moving on. Amen. Please do not listen to everybody. It is not everybody that has a message for you. Some people have wrong messages for you. Listen to people that have the correct message. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in verse 37, He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John. When we do research, we say we have to narrow down. Narrow down. There are people you are even carrying in your phone book that are completely irrelevant. Some of them are ex-boyfriends. Let them go. Let them go. You have a future and they are not part of it. God is helping you. Do not cry when some people live your life. It's because they are not necessary for your destiny. They have to go. Don't say, oh, the devil is fighting me. God is fighting for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Jesus narrowed down. He had 12 disciples. But he only went with three. Why? The three had similarities with him. They were prayers. If you are prayer, what is the need of carrying people that don't pray? When you begin to pray, they are opening their eyes to see how your mouth is opening up. <laughs> what, what, what are they for? Choose your companions wisely because even the Bible says bad common ruins good character. Bad common has potential and has capacity to destroy a good person. Please, if you realize that the people you are keeping as companions, they are not part of your destiny, leave them alone. Jesus himself, just three out of the twelve, he knew that the twelve are necessary, probably when it comes to eating. But when it comes to prayer and raising a dead person, I don't need this one, I don't need this one. Even as you are going to do your exam, you know who you need and you don't, who you don't need. Reading somebody is busy on YouTube with Afro cinema. Leave those people for concentrate na destiny yako in a unaitenganesa na hapa. Because uko inje mina onaga vira na ombeanga madaktali na manasu wale umemaliza shule. You know what wana tafuta kazi kwa bidi. Uko inje life is different. I've been engaging and I've been interacting with a lot of this. Na ukisoma verse 40 uh, kwa kumalizia verse 40 but they laughed at him. Unaona verse 39 he went in and he said to them, why all this commotion and waiting? The child is not dead but asleep. He is speaking from another world. Perspectives and world view differ. Kuna watu wengine wakikuona unaabudu hivi kama mimi uko kisi. Watu wengine wanapona wanashangiria. Watu wengine wanasema iruminati. Watu wengine hata mina wauliza hii na hiyo vitu munasema sini mingi. Kumbi I am all those things. I must be a big person. <laughs> Kama niko vitu mingi na muna hiyo. Lakini inakuonyesha kwamba we can never see things the same way. I always tell people, if you find two people thinking exactly the same, that one of them is not thinking. <laughs> and a copy. We are unique. The Bible says each one of us is unique from God. Amen. We can never think the same. I've been marking exams for many years. Even in college, at university. I, I always read. I have never seen two people that write exactly the same. And when they do, I call them to find out whether they are praying twins. 
eh, akili yao inafikiria the same you can never be the same admit that you are unique and you are different praise god Amen. so yeah, and jesus told them the child is not dead but asleep wengine wanalia yesu anazungumza kuhusu kulala na wakamchekerea people will always laugh at you when you speak big things because they think you are day dreaming they will say that ukiogea mambo makubwa like when i started ministry you know when things were so bad for me in kisi na nikaishi pale kwa street so later i started ministry with one person people were saying ah huyu mpatie miaka 5 aki survive ujue kuna mungu mbinguni naona vile mnapiga makofi mbaya mbaya ya wifu hata ninyi wanafunzi wadogo mmetoa wapi wifu mmeanza ku hiyo culture ni mbaya shangiliaje na nyinyi mpate hiyo amen after after he put them all out yesu alijua kwamba kuna watu wengine wa kuweka out of your phone book you put them out hebu angalia kwa hiyo simu si kuna watu wa kwenda wengine walikuwa umekuwa ukisoma ukweli ni kwamba maisha ni ngumu wengine wamekusupport kidogo kwa fee si umemaliza shule si put them out you answer maisha si banange jamani si umemaliza shule ambia mtu hapo kaa sensitive yes ujue my anza kusoma majira umemaliza hautaki mtu akulipa renti Bwana Yesu asifiwe so after Jesus put them all out he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went with the child na unajua alipotoa hao watu nje ule mtoto alifufuka kuna watu wengine ukikana wao kwa maisha watazuia destiny yeah they are bad people unaona Mungu anaambia Abraham wacha huyu wacha huyu uende na mke wako because he knows there are people as long as you keep their company you are going nowhere they do not only carry a curse but they are bad omen their thinking is different you don't share anything in your destiny just leave them leave them umekuwa na wao ndio we do not deny but a time has come for you to check on that list niko na wanafunzi 12 hapa niko na mtu amekufa nitaingia na nani hasa wewe unaweza na Judas mahali kama hapo na mtoto afufuke Judas atauliza wanalipa ngapi <laughs> kwa hiyo mtoto wana wana, wana beana ngapi <laughs> because thinking yake ni tofauti unaenda na watu ambao they think like you so wakaingia huko ndani yule mtoto akafufuka all i'm telling you is that When you choose wisely your God and and the people that uh, that have to keep your company definitely your destiny will never delay. <laughs>